Hello everyone. In this video, we will take a look at a Simplex 4004R suppression release panel. First produced in the mid-2000s, the 4004R is the first Simplex panel designed exclusively for fire suppression. It uses a conventional layout with four zones, two special purpose zones, two NACs, two releasing circuits, and three relays. So let's jump right into this. For this demo system, there are three initiating devices, two special purpose devices, one notification appliance, and one releasing appliance. The initiating devices include two 498-9601 smoke detectors and a 498-9613 heat detector. The special purpose devices include a 2099-9103 pulse station as the manual release and an alarm controls RP26 button as the abort switch. Simplex does have their own abort switches and manual release stations, I just don't have those. The notification appliance is a 4903-9425 True Alert Horn Strobe. Set to free run because the 4004R does not have smart sync. For the releasing device, we have a Federal Signal Val's Halon Strobe on a Gamewell Strobe Plate. This strobe represents a releasing mechanism or solenoid, which would release a suppression agent in a real system. Suppression systems work differently than regular fire alarm systems. For this demonstration, the 4.4R has been configured for a single hazard, cross-zoned agent release system. When one of the smoke detectors goes into an alarm, the system will enter first stage. The true alert strobe will flash and the horn sounds on temporal coding. If both detectors are on alarm, the system enters second stage or pre-discharge mode. The true alert horn sounds at march time and the release countdown begins. During this stage, the abort switch can be pressed to temporarily delay the release. Once the delay runs out or the manual release station is activated, the panel activates the releasing circuits and, in a real system, the agent is released. The true alert horn sounds on continuous and the halon strobe flashes to simulate the release. The heat detector is just wired to the supervisory zone. I originally planned to have the heat detector put the system right into pre-discharge mode, but due to hardware limitations, I wasn't able to do that. Anyways, here we go. Now let's take a look at the panel layout. Like most suppression panels, the 4004R cabinet is smaller, about 14.5 inches wide and 16 inches tall. At the top left are terminals for the notification and releasing circuits, each supervised with a 10K ohm resistor. In the middle are the four initiating zones, and to the right are two special purpose zones and auxiliary power. All the zones are supervised with a 3.3K ohm resistor. At the far right are two slots for optional auxiliary relay cards. There's also three onboard relays at the bottom right. The optional relays come with a disconnect button, which is attached to the main keypad. Additional optional modules include Class A adapter cards for the zones and outputs, as well as a battery meter. 
The panel is very easy to operate with just three buttons, Acknowledge, Silence, and Reset. Holding the Acknowledge button or pressing Reset initiates a lamp test. All the LEDs on the display are labeled with an insertable card. This card and the associated labels vary depending on the configuration of the system. You can change this configuration through the programming menu. So let's look at that. The 4004R can be programmed from the keypad or with a computer. We will just focus on programming from the keypad for this video. There's a red switch on the right side of the main board to enter programming mode. This disables fire protection and creates a trouble. Once acknowledged, the LEDs indicate the programming page and associated options. The first option sets the overall configuration for the system. This affects the function of the initiating zones and special purpose zones, as well as the coding and timing of the notification and releasing circuits. The 4004R supports various agent release functions, single or dual hazard, cross zoned or single zoned. There's also a pre-action deluge option with similar sub options. A total of nine different configurations are available. 4004R panels running software version 4 or higher have four additional options. These include a combination agent release and pre-action, dual zoned or single zoned, as well as an agent release option with a third notification circuit. The newer 4004Rs also support enhanced relays, which activate for different events. The programming menu also has options to adjust various timers, including automatic release delay, releasing circuit cutout, manual release delay, and abort release delay. The notification circuits can be toggled for silenceable or non-silenceable, and the first stage coding can be set to temporal or slow march time. The supervisory condition can be programmed to activate the third onboard relay and the second notification circuit in any combination. Lastly, the initiating circuits can be toggled as class AB circuits or style C circuits. Once complete, the programming switch can be toggled off and changes will be saved. And that's it. Suppression panels are a distinct category of fire protection systems, and this video doesn't show everything that this branch has to offer. Although fire suppression is often included in newer addressable panels, the 4004R achieves similar flexibility in a small, standalone package. The conventional setup also allows for easier wiring, programming, and operation. I purchased my 4004R new in box for a hefty price, and I would only recommend this to enthusiasts if one is found for a very low price. Otherwise, stick with a regular 4004 or other small and affordable fire alarm control panel. If you have any questions or comments on the 4004R, feel free to post them below. But until next time, have a nice day.